All right, so I figured I'd do a little update on Starlink with everything they have going on with deprioritized data for standard users, as well as the flagpole mount and how it's held up. Um, as for the mount goes, it's great. Um, if we get high winds or something like that, you do need to twist it down. Um, the poles are just a little bit flimsy and you can kind of see if we move. Just a little bit, you get a lot of top end movement there. It doesn't affect service as much, um, but it'll definitely make itself fall down or not fall down, but slip into each pole. Um, and obviously you don't wanna, yep, there it goes, just like that. If you get any kind of wind, uh, I think that's kind of because of the pole that I chose to use. I got a cheaper one. Um, so there might be some nicer ones out there that hold, but for my use, it's fine. Uh, you can see the obstructions. Uh, Starlink is not obstructed. Uh, there's a couple little minor um, red spots there that's really from that oak tree. It just is just quite not tall enough to get over it. And I wonder how much if that tree's continues to grow if it had, uh, um, if that's gonna make it worse over time. What's really, really disappointing though, is here's the speed test. And this is probably the fastest, now that I'm making this video, that it's been in months. Uh, usually it's anywhere from three to four megabytes per second. Uh, it's got a 35 millisecond latency. Last night when I ran this, <clears throat> it had 135, which what I'm using it for, gaming and streaming and that kind of stuff is really, really bad. You get a lot of lag, a lot of bad quality. Um, I've even done, if you do a speed test in Chrome instead of through the Starlink app, it even records a little bit slower. So, well, there it looks like it's going a lot better. But um, like I said, this is a, uh, we're filming this in the morning. So maybe not as many people on the, uh, on the system, but um, the past couple of months have been really, really disappointing with the speeds. It's been almost unusable for streaming, unusable for gaming. Uh, so hopefully they can uh, get some of the congestion stuff figured out here soon.